Hey guys, Midwest Fishing Bros, and today I'm going to bring you a video on how I store my soft plastics. So if you go to Walmart and you pick up a container like this, I have divided, put cardboard dividers in here. You can put plastic ones, however you'd like. Um, I have... These aren't all my baits, of course, because I put them in a different bag after, um, after they're all in here. Um, so on this side, I have all my flipping baits, Cinco's, tubes, ribbon tail worms, and my swim baits. So after I decide where I'm going to fish for the day, um, I take the plastics that I'm going to use out of this container and I'll transport them over to this bag now this bag is um, right now set up to um, the type of lakes we have been fishing recently so I have all those baits in here and I found that this way of organizing it works best for me I don't know about you you may have a different way but this works for me um, on Starting from the left, we have Cinco's. We have a couple bags of Cinco's. And then once we get to about right here, all these are um, flipping baits. And if you notice, I have all of them um, with the same brand. So here I have b and I have Net Bait. I have Big Bite Baits. I have three bags of Reaction Innovations, a couple bags of Yum, three bags of Missile Baits. So I keep them with their own brand so I know exactly where to go. Up front here, I keep my Power Team Lures uh, just mainly because of the smell. They're a, a scented bait and I didn't want them with the rest of my baits in the main compartment. On this side, I have just some ribbon tail worms, um, some shaky head baits, drop shot baits. Um, this is the Berkeley Havoc, Havoc Money Maker. And over here, I have tubes. Back here, I just have some miscellaneous baits. Um, I have a couple swim baits. Um, I have some craws up there. Uh, but other than that, that is how I store my soft plastics. Again, this might not be how you do it, but I found um, this is easiest for me, and I'd like to share my tip with you. So, thanks for watching.